All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. We are going to play uh, Shotgun once again. So the reason why I want you guys to play Shotgun is because you already kind of know how it goes. And also, I want you guys to just have fun and start learning some open chords. So you guys have already done the full chords, well, kind of full chords of like D, C, and G. Uh, the technical term for the C chord that you were playing was called a C at nine when we were doing uh, Sweet Home. So the actual C chord that you want to be getting to is. But I just want you guys to have fun and, and get into the flow of playing and uh, playing the guitar. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to play Shotgun. Um, and previously you played Shotgun, it was a G and then a C and then E minor and then a D. So now with this one, we're going to do the full chords. So no fear. Um, first chord going to be a G. Um, so the way we're going to do this one, so we're going to be starting from the low E string or the sixth string. So low E, we're going to do a three on the E, two on the, on the A string, and then everything will be open until you get to the high E string where you're going to put three on the E again. And that's your G. So three on the E, two on the A, and then three on the high E. And everything else is open. So that's going to be your G chord now. Instead of doing it down here, you're going to be doing it all six. Nice. Very easy, right? So it's similar to your Sweet Home Alabama, just bring your third finger down. And it's like that. Easy as. Now, the next chord we're going to play is going to be the C chord. So this is going to be a full C chord shape. And we're going to do the full, uh, the full setup. So starting with your third finger, you're going to put it on the third fret A string. Uh, and then you're going to get your second finger, second fret D string, and then your first finger, first fret B string, and then the G and E are open. So you're going third fret A string, second fret D string, open G string, uh, first fret uh, B string, and then open E string. And then that, you'll just play from the, from the A string down, so the fifth string down. And that's your C chord. Very nice. Now, you already are quite similar to the D. Uh, oh, actually, I was about to skip a chord. But so we got C chord. And now this one, previously you did the E minor and it was like this, which was easy. We're going to now shift that and do it like this. Going to get your first finger on the second fret A string. And then you're going to get your second finger on the second fret D string. So first finger on the second fret A string second finger on the second fret D string. And then you're gonna play from the E, so the low E, all the way through. So you're only fretting two, two strings. So that's your E minor. And then the last chord we're going to play is the D chord, which you already know how to do most of. So we'll just go back to how you guys would normally do the D, which is open D string, first finger is on the second fret G string, and your third finger is on the third fret B string. And now here we're gonna add one more note, which will be our middle finger, so our second finger on the second fret E string. So you've got like a little triangle, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then you just strum from the fourth string. So now these are a bit more, um, like they are beginner shapes, but um, they're gonna be fairly new to your hands. So don't be afraid or and don't be frustrated if you're getting problems of like strings accidentally muting other strings. Like say you're playing the G chord and you're, just be aware that where you might have a string below where your fingers are fretting, they might be resting on them and causing muting. So you just need to be aware, just always, like I said, at the very beginning when you were fretting your fingers, uh, fretting the, the strings, you need to be towards the end of the frets as best as you can. Uh, and then you need to make sure that you're on the tips of your fingers enough so that your finger is not touching the uh, the string below it. See, this is me being bad. So you see how it's just like muting and sounds really yuck? So being on the tip of your fingers and then squeeze in with your thumb and you'll get it. The parts where it can get tricky is when we have two fingers on the same fret. 
So you see how on the E minor, I've got second fret A string and then on, and then I've got second fret D string. So obviously you can't get both of them at the end of the fret. So you just make as much room as you can and try and keep them as close to the center as possible. And then you should be able to get it. So recap, first chord, G. So two on the E, uh, sorry, three on the E, two on the A, open, 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 and then three on the E. And then we got C chord. So starting three on the A string, and then two on the D, open, and then one on the D, and then open. And then we've got E minor. So starting open E, and then two on the A, two on the D, and then open everything. And then the last chord D, which you guys are fairly familiar with, open on the D, two on the G, three on the B, two on the E. And then you strum that. So now when you are playing this song, we want to think exactly the same way that we did shotgun previously. I just want you to go, uh, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone, whoa. Now you've got in this scenario, you've got, you've got one strum and then you've got time to change. So I'll be riding shotgun, time to change to C chord, time to change to E minor, time to change to D. And that's how you wanna practice it. I want you guys to get really, really familiar with, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone, whoa. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone, whoa. Now, if you want to start leveling it up, um, do two strums. What? So I want you to go, um, like you want to split it in half, like split what you would be doing in the, in the phrase in half. So you're going to go, I'll be riding shotgun. Oh, actually, what's it? It's hard for me to, to do this because I have a way that I do this. I go bump. So you could just go, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone, whoa. That's a bit syncopated. It sounds cool, but Kind of just start having fun. If you want to do, do like a kumbaya, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. Just honestly, just do whatever you like. <laughs> it, it's a 4 4 groove. So in um, music, we have like beats per bar and so like this in this one there's four beats per bar so one two three four one two three four and so you can do whatever phrase you want of that you go one two three or i go bump Just get that right hand moving. Just get 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 in there having fun. Um, for the only thing from this lesson that you want to 100% get is these bigger chord shapes. Because they're going to be the precursor to a lot of songs that we're going to be tackling. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much all I want you to do. Jump in, get super comfortable with the G, C, E minor, D. And then if you're feeling really confident with that, just add some strumming, just like up and downs and do whatever you want. Like, just think of rhythms if you want. Um, obviously, I know a lot of rhythms. So when I say, oh, just do it, it's like, it's very easy for me because I've done many of them. But just see what feels feels nice for your hand, just going up and down. Just Or do like, Down, 
down up down But <laughs> you just have fun with it. Like seriously, anything you want, anything goes. Don't take guitar too serious because um, it is not serious. A lot of it is muscle memory that you're going to build up over time. So these core fundamentals that we're doing, they're important, but we are going to be using case studies of songs to get you really, really good. Um, we're going to be playing music that's going to build up the technique for you. But these core fundamentals, they're the ones that are like, you just really need to know how to play a G chord and you just need to know how to play a C chord. E minor D. Like once you know how to play these chords, you will begin applying them to multiple songs and the strumming patterns and rhythms, they will come from actually playing music, not doing technical exercises. That's why we want to hold off on the exercise front until you are super chasing like a really, really specific goal. But yeah, jump in, have fun. Shotgun, round two. Uh, yeah, have fun. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right.